aftermath of that deadly shooting in Aurora, Colorado, a suburb of Denver. The police chief, Dan Oates, there saying that 12 people were killed, 10 people died at the scene, two in the hospital. 59 injured. In total, 71 people were shot. He allegedly opened fire a little bit after midnight as people were gathered in a movie theater to watch the new Batman movie. Uh, he came in and he started lighting um, a gas can and he threw it into the crowd. At that point, he shot his first fire into the ceiling to scare everybody and they just started scattering and mass chaos just happened. At that point, he went for to hear and he just pointed the gun at me. I, I was terrified so I just dove into the, the aisle and then at that point he started shooting people behind me and I had bullets that were you know on my forehead burning my forehead and I just told myself I need to get out of here I need to get out of here. So as soon as we get more details on this horrific shooting in the United States that is really making headlines in America and brought even the political campaign for the presidential election. In the initial America they should pray. I'm seeing and carry gun in a gathering of people and begin to shoot people and a lot of people will be the key before the man will be arrested. They should play in the United States. This is homeland security. I'm seeing coming out. Who is it mental? Carry gun and begin before they can get him arrested. A lot of people will die. We at Emmanuel TV and the Synagogue Church of All Nations pray that God would comfort and strengthen the families of the victims in this tragic incident and continue to shelter the nation of America under the shadow of his protection. In Jesus' name. Prophecy does not refer to the prophecy of things unheard and unknown, but of both announced and unknown. Prophecy implies a special insight into revealed truth. And a great faculty of making them and their consequences known to others. That is prophecy. <laughs> Prophets were motivated to utter the deep things of God for the condition of sin for edification and comfort. This is Emmanuel TV. all over the world, prepare your hearts to receive and get ready to pray along with Prophet T.B. Joshua. Whatever situation you are in, God Almighty will take you from glory to glory. Pray along in faith, in Jesus' name. Viewers all over the world, listen to me. Anywhere you are, right now from glory to glory, your career from glory to glory, your destiny from glory to glory, your life from glory to glory, your business from glory to glory, your marital life from glory to glory, your finances from glory to glory. Whatever situation you are in, it is not the will of God for you to be in that situation. I declare you free in the name of Jesus. Glory, power, glory. Power! Power! Glory! Begin to receive the power of God. Receive the power of God. Receive the power of God. Glory! Power! 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 Glory! Glory! Power! 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 Glory! In the name of Jesus.
viewers all over the world. Distance is not a barrier. Get ready to pray along with Prophet TB Joshua and believe that the end will come to that affliction, to that infirmity, to that limitation in progress. And you will see them no more in Jesus Christ's name. They were all over the world. Agree with me. It is God's will to free you. It is God's will to release you. It is His will to heal you. It is His will to deliver you. It is His will to bless you. It is His will. It is His will. It is His will. Agree with me. Say it is God's will. It is God's will to free me at this moment. It is God's will to free me. It is His will at this moment to free me. Poverty in your life. Affliction in your life. Infirmity in your life. Limitation in progress. Marital problem. Be done. Be done. They were all over the world. The end has come. To that affliction. The end has come. To that bondage. Everything that has a beginning must have an end. Tell your situation. The end has come. I face them no more. Disappointment. I face them no more. Affliction. I face them no more. Limitation in progress. I face them no more. I face them no more. They was all over the world. You are with us, we are with you. As surely as the Lord lives, the end has come to that affliction, to that sickness disease, to that infirmity, to that limitation in progress. As surely as the Lord lives, you face them no more. You face them no more. You face them no more. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the weak say I'm strong. Let the poor say I'm blessed. Let the sick say I'm healed. In Jesus Christ's name. Rejoice. This is Emmanuel TV. Coming up next, Standard for Life. Emmanuel TV, bringing you the gospel of Jesus Christ. Changing nations, changing the world. Make God's Word the standard for life with Prophet TB Joshua. of all gracious heavily thoughts of God. A 
embodied in Christ for the enlightenment of our soul ability to communicate this wisdom to others is the best and highest spiritual gift communicated to others knowledge means to explain the unfolding and the correlation of gospel facts prophecy is not necessarily predicting future events but preaching teaching the world your neighbor speak forward this power we are talking about such comes true or uh, because of the baptism of the holy spirit and those who are baptized in the holy spirit will not stand anywhere and begin to condemn because there is authority in their mouth if you have authority that authority is to build most of our trouble are turned troubles. Each prophecy said, These men are from God. Their message is true. Believe them. pastor are sent to utter the deep things of God for the conviction of sin for edification and comfort
Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you very much for being the father to the fatherless and uh, the companion to the lonely. Thank you very much. You have rededicated yourself to the art of giving. If you have done that, let us see your hand. Hallelujah. Yes. If a Christian must know a prosperous life, he or she must learn to plant. What are we planting? Every good thing the Lord has given us. Our love, our faithfulness, our kindness. Let me welcome you to the arena of liberty. Walking in the Spirit is so exciting. There you hear Jesus say to you, <laughs> How are you? Yeah. The title of our message, The Word of Wisdom and Knowledge. Let someone say, The Word of Wisdom and Knowledge. Yeah. I will take my reading from the book of Deuteronomy 18. Verse 22, when a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the thing does not happen or come to pass, that is the thing which is the Lord has not spoken. That is, if the prophet says, in the name of Jesus, tomorrow there will be blue. And that tomorrow, no blue, knowing that he speak of himself. This is what we call fake. You may be a pastor by profession and not such in heart. The word of wisdom and knowledge, it is not always easy to distinguish clearly between them. Wisdom consists of all gracious, heavily thought of God embodied in Christ for the enlightenment of our soul, ability to communicate this wisdom to others is the best and highest spiritual gift. Communicate it to others. When you know God's opinion about yourself, what God has in plan for you from now on, you will be able to say God's opinion about others. This is what we are designed for, to act with him, to God's opinion about ourselves and about others. Knowledge means to explain the unfolding and the correlation of gospel facts. The way prophecy in Greek word, which signifies to speak forth. Prophecy is not necessarily predicting future events, but preaching, teaching the word with That is prophecy. This is why when you hear, hey, madam, you have 11 month pregnancy over you, I can see a baby girl. You will deliver on Wednesday.
without power of God, that Wednesday cannot happen. It is power of God that change, change, change. Let someone say, speak forth. Tell your neighbor, speak forth. This power we are talking about, such comes true or because of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And those who are baptized will not stand anywhere and begin to condemn but there is authority in their mouth. If you have authority, that authority is to build. The prophecies of the prophets of the old became signs what did this signs say each prophecy said these men are from god their message is true believe them Because when they say something, come to pass, people begin to say, this is from God. This is how we know. Everyone is avoiding that area. Because that area is a screen machine. Anointing fall on me. Fall on me, let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me, anointing fall on me. Can you raise your hands and say anointing? There is a promise of Father for every one of us that whatever you say here shall be said in heaven. Before heaven can be present within you, you must pass through the baptism of the Holy Spirit.
Prophet, pastor, are sent to utter the deep things of God for the conviction of sin, for edification and comfort. Last Sunday, I think that was the first words of wisdom that was given here first that a woman is there come out 11 month pregnancy now overdue you are booked for operation come this is a baby girl you will deliver this pregnancy this coming wednesday you are from delta state now after the service go back to your state and deliver and come back let's see the woman in every situation god is still saying something listen to the prophecy of this past sunday the 7th of june 2009 concerning a woman who had an 11 month pregnancy the woman you are seeing is the woman who was prophesied to during last week's live sunday service at the synagogue church of all nations Let's listen to Prophet T.B. Joshua. There is a woman, you are due. This is 11 months. Come. And you have been booked for operation. This is a baby. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Prophet T.B. Joshua prays for this pregnant woman in the name of Jesus Christ. And she comes under the influence of the Holy Spirit. This is a level man. Yes. You are going to deliver this baby. Amen. There was disagreement over this child when this pregnancy was two months. You just need to say sorry and ask for forgiveness. Okay. I'm sorry, God, I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry, God, forgive me. You will deliver your baby, okay, on Wednesday. That is the anointed water. And, and that is the pack for you. After taking it, immediately the baby will begin to turn. So now, you go for your deliverance. For TB Joshua sprays the anointed water into the mouth of the woman with an overdue pregnancy, and then onto her stomach, as the Holy Spirit is busy working out the answer. Remember, Prophet TB Joshua said that after taking the anointed water, the baby would begin to turn. The baby is turning inside the womb. The baby is turning? Yes. Doctor, come and see. <laughs> this visitor to the church, a medical doctor from the Bahamas, steps forward to examine the woman after she drank the anointed water, then announced that the baby was turning. The baby is turning. It's turning? Yes. But before? No. But now it's turning? Uh. There is certain urine is going to pass that urine first before we begin to talk of labor. Prophet TB Joshua pours the anointed water into the mouth of the pregnant woman and then instructs her to be taken to the restroom. The man of God has prophesied that the child will be delivered on Wednesday and that she will now pass certain urine before she can go into labor. This is the urine Prophet T.B. Joshua prophesied about when he said that the woman would pass a certain urine before she could go into labor. My name is Joy. I'm from Delta State. The man of God said that there is all my year. I have a pregnancy overdue. There is a 
Roman, you are due. This is 11 months. Come. So, Anna Koma says, there is me. He said there is between uh, uh, argument between me and my husband. There was disagreement over this child when this pregnancy was two months. You just need to say sorry and ask for forgiveness. Okay. I'm sorry, God, I'm sorry. So he now say I will deliver on Wednesday. You will deliver your baby, okay, on Wednesday. So he now say I will deliver on Wednesday. He will now give me the uh, anointed water. I'm not, uh, I'm not drinking the water and I go to the toilet. I will read whatever, everything that is inside my stomach. As you can hear from Prophet TB Joshua, that she's 11 months pregnant and she came from another state because she was booked for an operation because of her problem. Take note of 11 months pregnant, which the woman confirmed. This is 11 months. Yes. Take note of the day, Wednesday. You deliver your baby, okay, on Wednesday. Take note of the sex, female. This is a baby girl. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 18 verse 22 and in Jeremiah 28 verse 9 that if the prophecy comes to pass, he is a prophet sent by God. And if it does not come to pass, he is is not a prophet. The prophecy has been fulfilled. Thursday night, the 11th of June, 2009, a vehicle pulls into the gates of the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Inside is Mrs. Joy Everbright and her one-day-old newborn baby girl. Glory be to God. A large crowd of national and international visitors to the Synagogue Church of All Nations are at the gates to welcome the family as they arrive from Delta State, Nigeria. We recall the words of the prophecy spoken by Prophet T.B. Joshua on Sunday the 7th of June 2009. There is a woman. You are due. This is 11 months. You have been booked for an operation. This is a baby girl. You will deliver your baby on Wednesday. This is the baby girl whose birth was revealed in the prophecy given by Prophet T.B. Joshua. These are the international visitors and viewers of Emmanuel TV who witnessed the prophecy firsthand that Sunday, the 7th of June, 2009, during the live service. Overcome with joy, they now rejoice with Mrs. Everbright on the fulfillment of the prophecy and the birth of her baby girl. I'm Miss Joy Everbright. I'm from Delta State. Man of God prophesied for me last Sunday service, said there was a woman here who have been 11 months pregnancy. Say they want to do the woman oppression. Make the woman come out. They say, Woman, you are due. This is 11 months. Come. And you have been booked for operation. This is a baby girl. Now pray for me. Sprinkle the holy water on me. On the pregnancy, the baby now position. The baby was was bridge man of god said that i will urinate that thing that is make the baby to bridge there is certain urine is going to pass that urine first before we begin to talk of labor so after take the anointed water the baby now turn and i urinate the the thing out you will deliver your baby okay on wednesday man of god now said that I will deliver on Wednesday, baby girl, and I deliver on Wednesday morning around 9.30 on Wednesday morning. This is a baby girl. And I thank God is a baby girl. Okay, uh, to God be the glory. Where are you coming from now? Delta State. You mean you came all the way from Delta State? Yes. To confirm the prophecy of the man of God with your baby? Yes. How do you feel right now? I haven't realized that the prophecy of the man of God has come to pass. He said you're going to be delivered of your baby on Wednesday and that the sex of the baby you're going to deliver is a baby girl and it has come to pass. How do you feel as a mother? I'm very happy. And God will bless the man of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we clap for wonderful Jesus? To God be the glory. Okay. Now, what's the sex of the baby you're having now? Gay. To confirm the prophecy of the man of God? Yes. Okay, let's see the sex of the baby. 
to confirm that you have been delivered of a baby girl according to the message. My name is Janet Holmes. I'm from the UK. Uh, I'm visiting synagogue this week and uh, we watched last Sunday, we heard the prophecy and it is just a wondrous thing to see this lady driven all the way from Delta State which is a far way to come and show us what God has done in her life and we give God all the glory and we just want to bless this baby because this baby is a miracle baby. <laughs> I'm from Athens, Greece. Uh, my name is Nafsika Sotiriou. I want to say that I pray that the Lord be glorified through this child when she grows up in Jesus name Emmanuel my name is Tebohole Koko from Botswana wow our Lord is an awesome God I watched Sunday the prophet uh, prophesied that on Wednesday this lady is going to give birth to a baby girl and I was watching from Botswana and Give all the glory to our, our, our mighty God because the baby was born on Wednesday. Hallelujah! My name is Dickness Irene. It's song from the southern part of Nigeria. I was in church on Sunday when the prophecy came. And I want to say that it's stage by stage. First, the man of God said he was going to administer the anointing water and after that she was going to pass out everything that has uh, 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 caused the problem of the baby not coming. And right before her eyes, it happened so. She passed out. In fact, I saw it. It was, it was not a normal urine. The color and everything, you will know it's not a normal thing. And then the next stage was that the baby was going to turn and really when he, was, he administered the anointing water the baby turned even the woman acknowledged that the baby is turning there was a movement and so it was and he said it's going to be a baby girl and it was, was going to be on a Wednesday I mean what else do you want our God is good our God is an awesome God our God is a perfect God praise the Lord Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Mavrokordados Panayotis. I come from Greece. I was watching the live service from Greece last Sunday. Uh, I heard uh, the man of God saying to the sister that take the anointed water and uh, you will give birth to the child by Wednesday. And we are here. We see what has happened. This is amazing. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is alive. Uh, the prophecy was also given that she will give birth to a baby girl and indeed it is a baby girl. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Watch the screen. That's a woman coming forward. She's coming forward right now with her baby. Praise! My name is Mrs. Joy Eva Bright. I'm from Delta State. Last week Sunday is the first Sunday for me to come to this place. I'm um, a God prophesied there is one woman here who had a level most pregnancy. Doctor has booked her for operation. Let the woman come aside and now run out. He said I have misunderstanding with me and my husband. That's why I could not burn this baby. A man of God now say, I should not worry, I will deliver this baby on Wednesday. Man of God say, I will deliver a baby girl. He now give me the anointed water to pass everything that inside the pregnancy. I now go to the toilet and urinate everything that is inside the pregnancy. And truly, exactly what man of God says, I will deliver on Wednesday. I deliver on Wednesday, 9.30 in the morning. I'm so happy that I deliver a retired operation and I deliver exactly what the man of God said, a baby girl. I'm so much happy. May God bless the man of God and lift her higher in Jesus' name. What a man of God said about me is true. I went to the hospital and the doctor said that I will not deliver this baby and the baby is breached. Man of God said I booked for operation. And I'm so much happy I did not do the operation. Emmanuel. My name is uh, Dr. Vincent Moser. I'm a medical doctor of more than 35 years experience. I practice in Bahamas Islands. I was here on Sunday when the prophecy was given to 
our lady here a mighty man of god gave the anointed water to this lady and i was asked to come around to see whether the baby was moving i came around i touched the gravid uterus that we call it and i can feel the baby moving after the anointed water was given and um, later subsequently you all know what happened that the lady went back to her place and then came back with this baby fine girl so for us for me as a physician um, when the baby has an overdue pregnancy usually as a bridge delivery a bridge a bridge presentation um, they really have to do a cesarean section okay and in this case when the anointed water was given the baby turned and subsequently this lady had a normal birth uh, this is indeed a miracle uh, we thank God for it Emmanuel thank you as you can this see is the okay. baby guy the man of God said that I will deliver Rise up for prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. You want to open your lips and begin to prophesy to yourself the way out for your business has come. Amen. The way out for your career has come. The way out for your marital life has come. The way out for your finances has come. You open your lips, begin to prophesy to yourself. The way out for my life has come. The way out for my business. The way out for my head. The way out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. I want to tell you, your past is over. When our past is over, all things, all other things, all things become new. Look at this prostitute lady who met Jesus. Jesus said to her, your sin has forgiven. Compare your sin to that woman. If that woman's sin can be forgiven, your sin has been forgiven. I am prophesied to your life today your sin has been forgiven open your lips and begin to receive utterances whatever you say shall be said in heaven Ouvrez vos lèvres et priez, quel que soit ce que vous dites, maintenant sera fait dans le ciel. Ouvrez vos lèvres et priez, recevez les paroles pour prier. In Jesus' name we pray. Right now, say to yourself, I believe myself. Because Jesus is within me. Your live and begin to prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. Maintenant, confessez, dit je crois en moi-même parce que Christ vit en moi. Ouvrez vos lèvres et prophétisez, prophétisez sur votre vie. In Jesus' name we pray. I have a word for you. Remember the Blambat Mill, he cried out. Son of David, this word was given to him from above. Open your lips and begin to prophesy that the way out.
for your business has come. Amen. Say the way out for my life has come. Amen. The way out for my career has come. Amen. The way out for my finances has come. Amen. The way out for my future has come. Amen. The way out for my family has come. Amen. The way out for my marital life has come. Amen. Open your lips, begin to prophesy. Ouvrez vos lèvres et commencez à prophétiser et dites que la, la solution pour ma famille est arrivée. La solution pour mes affaires est arrivée. La solution pour mon couple est arrivée. Priez. Christ's name we pray. You will remain with this way because I want to leave you in faith and, and I'm expecting to meet you in faith. saying something. Confirmation prophecy coming up next on Emmanuel TV. This is Emmanuel TV. gift. Communicate it to others. Knowledge means to explain the unfolding and the correlation of gospel facts. Prophecy is not necessarily predicting Future event, but preaching, teaching the way with power. Tell your neighbor, speak forward. This power we are talking about, such comes true or uh, because of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And those who are baptized in the Holy Spirit will not stand anywhere and begin to condemn because there is authority in their mouth. If you have authority, that authority is to build. 
most of our trouble had turned troubles. Each prophecy said, These men are from God. Their message is true. Believe them. Prophet, pastor, are sent to utter the deep things of God for the conviction of sin, for edification and comfort. Quand le serviteur de Dieu parle, le sage écoute. Deutéronome 18, 22 Dieu est toujours en train de dire quelque chose. Le 10 juin 2012, durant la réunion en direct à la synagogue de toutes les nations, le dimanche, le prophète Sibyl de Choix a donné une prophétie concernant la sécurité interne de la nation d'Amérique. Il a bien spécifié qu'il a vu un homme portant une arme tirant dans la foule, geste qui entraînera la mort de beaucoup avant qu'il ne soit arrêté. Voici ses paroles. Les nations américaines doivent prier. Je vois un homme qui porte une arme dans un gardien de gens et commence à tuer les gens. And a lot of people will be key before the man will be arrested. They should pray in the United States. Dans la nation des États-Unis, il faut qu'il prie. Je vois un homme avec une arme en feu dans un rassemblement de personnes et commence à tirer. Et beaucoup de gens seront tués avant que cet homme soit arrêté. Il faut qu'il prie aux États-Unis. This is homeland security. I'm seeing coming out. Who is he meant to? Carry gun and begin to go, 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 go. before they can get him arrested. A lot of people will die. Il s'agit de la sécurité intérieure. Un homme va sortir, est-ce un malade mental, il prend une arme en feu et commence à tirer. Go, 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 go. Avant qu'on puisse l'arrêter, beaucoup de gens perdront la vie. En confirmation des paroles du prophète Tibi Dushua concernant la sécurité interne des États-Unis, où il a vu un homme portant une arme tirer dans la foule qui entraîna beaucoup de morts. Des nouvelles fraîches ont heurté les médias du monde entier qu'un homme armé avec un fusil est entré dans un cinéma au Colorado, aux États-Unis, et a commencé à tirer dans la foule. Écoutons les nouvelles. If you're just joining us, a recap now of breaking news we're following from the U.S. state of Colorado. 14 people have died, 50 are injured after shots were fired inside a movie theater in the city of Aurora. Take a look at these live pictures. Police are saying to CNN and other reporters a short while ago that a gunman wearing body armor opened fire during a late night screening of the latest Batman film, The Dark Knight Rises. The suspect's been arrested and is in custody. You're looking at pictures now on the scene happening in Aurora. There are dozens of police, members of the emergency services surrounding the theater itself. There's 16 theaters. One specific theater was attacked, theater number nine. Witnesses say there was confusion because many in the audience actually thought that the so sound of gunfire was coming from the movie showing next door. There's no word as yet on a possible motive, but this story again unfolding very quickly and we continue to get a lot of information. Just moments ago, we heard that the FBI is now going to be working with local authorities and is headed to Aurora from Denver. Chief, they're providing us with many new details in the aftermath of that deadly shooting in Aurora, Colorado, a suburb of Denver. The police chief, Dan Oates, there saying that 12 people were killed, 10 people died at the scene, two in the hospital. 59 injured. In total, 71 people were shot. He allegedly opened fire a little bit after midnight as people were gathered in a movie theater to watch the new Batman movie. Uh, he came in and he started lighting um, a gas can and he threw it into the crowd. At that point, he shot his first fire into the ceiling to scare everybody and they just started scattering and mass chaos just happened. At that point, he from
here to here and he just pointed the gun at me. I, I was terrified so I just dove into the, the aisle and then at that point he started shooting people behind me and I had bullets that were you know on my forehead burning my forehead and I just told myself I need to get out of here I need to get out of here. So as soon as we get more details on this horrific shooting in the United States that is really making headlines in America and brought even the political campaign for the presidential election. In the initial America they should pray I'm seeing a man carry a gun in a gathering of people and begin to shoot people and a lot of people will be killed before the man will be arrested. They should pray in the United States. Dans la nation des états unis il faut qu'il prie. Je vois un homme avec une arme en feu dans un rassemblement de personnes et commence à tirer. Et beaucoup de gens seront tués avant que cet homme soit arrêté. Il faut qu'il prie aux états unis This is homeland security. I'm seeing coming out is a mentor carry gun and they get before they can get him arrested a lot of people will die il s'agit de la sécurité intérieure un homme va sortir est en malade mental et prend une arme en feu et commence à tirer avant qu'on puisse l'arrêter beaucoup de gens perdront la vie nous à Emmanuel télévision et la synagogue église de toutes les nations nous prions que dieu puisse réconforter et fortifier les familles des victimes de ce tragique incident et continue d'abriter la nation d'Amérique sous l'ombre de sa protection dans le nom de Jésus. Prophecy does not refer to the prophecy of things on head and unknown, but of both announced and unknown. Prophecy implies a special insight into revealed truth and a great faculty of making them and their consequences known to others. That is prophecy. Prophets were motivated to utter the deep things of God for the conviction of sin, for edification and comfort. This is Emmanuel TV.
great things on this earth that will last faith hope and love and the greatest is love the greatest is love this is what the bible say god is love and he that abides in love abides in god and god in him love looks around to see who is in need say your neighbor love looks around to see who is in need remember we begin to succeed with our life when the problems and hurts of others matter to us the wound of one is wound of all the pain of others is pain of all love frees me in the present remember it is the present that presents problems it is only true love we are able to respond to God and to others at present to respond to God first you must forgive yourself and your neighbors and free them in the present what a danger is a religion of words if there is no corresponding action you have nothing but a mental ascent without action if you give everything you own to the poor but you don't love no matter what you say, no matter what you believe, no matter what you do, you are bankrupt without love. Tell your neighbor, let love lead. Once again, let love lead. If you abide in love and love abide in you you abide in God love never gives up love is always there to act no matter what happens no matter what comes love is always there to act in the face of persecution in the face of intimidation in the face of trial in the face of temptation love is always there to act open your lips and say this prayer Lord give me love enough to overlook the mistake of others Lord let me rejoice when others do well love cares more for others than for self love does not want what it does not have Love is positive, it does not want anything negative. Love is good, it does not want anything bad. Love does not want hatred, because love is love. Love does not strut. 
love does not have solely head. Love store. Love does not belittle anyone. Love does not look down on others. Love does not force itself on others. Love put off with anything means love is tolerant. Love is determined. Love has a year for the best wish is yet to come. Love looks for the best. Love keeps going to the end no matter the obstacle, no matter the difficulty. Above all, if I speak in the tongues of angels, but I do not love others, I'm simply making a noise, talking to the air. Tell your neighbor, if I speak in the tongues of angels, but I do not love others, I'm simply making a noise. If I can prophesy the future and understand your mysteries or if I know everything or have faith to move mountains but I do not love others. Accomplished nothing in life. A person who does not love others cannot be entrusted with the power of God. He will misappropriate it, misuse it to hurt himself and others. When you have love of God, you will look around you to see who is in need. And the best investment is help. Help is the best investment. humanitarian documentary is coming up next on Emmanuel TV. The footage you are about to watch documents the primary stage of constructing a school for the children of a Siv town in Lahore, Pakistan by the Emmanuel TV team and helpers. We are here in Aziv town, Lahore, Pakistan and we are standing upstairs of the roof of Shield of Faith Pentecostal Church and here uh, Emmanuel TV team is with me and this is the roof which we, we are going to use for the school building and by the grace of God and with the help of uh, Emmanuel TV and Prophet TV Jeshua we will be able to build the school and this school is the charity school and uh, it will be free uh, school for the poor people and by the grace of God it will be very very blessed uh, building for this community and for the uh, poor people. This is the location where 
uh, the salmon rooms be built and uh, very soon we will able to start the building project. The first load of bricks purchased by the Emmanuel TV partners and TB Joshua for use in the building of Emmanuel School arrives at the site. The Emmanuel TV team and volunteers of the community help the bricklayers to unload the bricks. The bricks soon form high piles as a great number of bricks will be needed to complete the construction of the school building. The bricks are neatly sacked before they will be taken up to the roof of the building where the extension will be made, awaiting the mortar sand so the work on the walls can begin. So this is the first track of sand by the grace of God. The masons and their helpers mix the mortar sand with cement in order to lay the first first bricks of the school on the roof of the church building. The first bricks of the future seven classrooms are laid to the glory of God. Members of the community volunteer their time and effort to the Emmanuel Schools project as they help bring the remaining bricks up onto the roof. Everyone seems happy to lend a helping hand, even this little boy. Bringing their load of bricks up to the third floor, the volunteers place them on the ground neatly and leave it for the professional bricklayers to take it from there. This is a big day in a Sif town and its community, as the free manual school will provide the good education their children need to realize their full potential and reach towards their dreams, regardless of the child's ethnic or religious background. Emmanuel School is a free school for all, open to anyone in need. Heaping up a mixture of mortar sand and cement, this laborer is preparing to make the mortar which will secure the bricks in place as the construction continues. On the ground floor, another laborer hoists up a headpan of cement onto his head as he begins the upward journey. Here, the bricklayers scoop and spread another layer of mortar onto the tops of the bricks before they can lay another level onto the wall. Helpers assist the bricklayers to place bricks onto the scaffolding. From there, the workers will add them into the structure. And this is the place where we are building and we are constructing the school building. You can see that there are uh, some rooms which we are constructing. And also the church people, they help us to bring bricks on the up store. And uh, also the children's kids, they are very happy. So thank God for this uh, project and thank God for Prophet TB Jeshua and thank God for Emmanuel TB. Amen. As the construction of Emmanuel School continued, members of the community came together to finish the project funded by TB Joshua and the Emmanuel TV partners. After such a short space of time, the walls of the school building are almost complete and the window frames are formed. The red brick building is a beautiful sight to behold. Soon the classrooms will be finished and many children will be trooping to attend Emmanuel School in Asif town, Lahore, Pakistan. With the construction work almost complete, Emmanuel School makes an impressive sight on top of the Shield of Faith Pentecostal Church. This is the mission of Emmanuel TV, to rise to the challenge and support the community all over the world. Love looks around to see those who are in need. Even in faraway Pakistan, the children of this community need us to discover their directions and goals in life. An Emmanuel school, by the grace of God, will soon be in action. To God be the glory. The community joyfully came together to support the project in appreciation for the provision given to them for the construction of Emmanuel School by TB Joshua and the Emmanuel TV partners. After just two months, the project is now complete and ready for the official opening ceremony of Emmanuel School in Asif, Lahore, Pakistan. Joy and happiness elate the wonderful day of the official opening of Emmanuel School, constructed to improve the standard of living in the community by providing education and an environment that will help the less privileged children discover their gifts and talents. The children celebrate this monumental day in Asif Lahore, Pakistan with singing and dancing. <laughs> Greetings 
from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Synagogue Church of All Nations ki taraf se aap sab ke liye salam lekar aaye hain. And our greeting is Emmanuel. Aur hamara jo salam hai wo hai Emmanuel. Sab bole zara Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God. और इमानुअल का मतलब है खुदा हमारे साथ है एंड टुडे इमानुअल स्कूल इज बोर्न और आज इमानुअल स्कूल का जन्म हुआ है इट इज बोर्न टू हेल्प अस टू सेव अस टू ब्लेस अस और इसका जन्म इसलिए हुआ है कि हमें बचाए हमारी मदद करे और हमें सही रास्ते पर चलने के के लिए हमारे तैयार करे एंड टू अपलिफ्ट द ह्यूमन स्पिरिट और जो बनी ना इंसान की रूह है इसको बुलंद करे सो वी थैंक गॉड फॉर इमानुअल स्कूल और हम एंड वी वांट आल्सो टू गिव स्पेशल थैंक्स टू टीवी जोशुआ एंड इमानुअल टीवी पार्टनर्स फ्रॉम अराउंड द वर्ल्ड और हम शुक्रगुजार हैं प्रभु टीवी जोशुआ के और इमानुअल टीवी के जितने भी इसमें शामिल हैं हिस्सेदार हैं पूरी दुनिया से उन सब के हम शुक्रगुजार हैं हु हैव अलाउड देमसेल्व्स टू बी यूज्ड बाय गॉड फॉर द construction of this school in Manchester school community leaders and distinguished guests join the children and parents to officially mark this special day engraved on a wooden tablet for all to see is this message in commemoration of the financial help prophet tb joshua and the emmanuel tv partners for the building of emmanuel school on the 9th of march 2012 Could you please tell us your name and your position? अपने बारे में बताएं कि आपकी आपकी हैसियत क्या है आपका नाम क्या है मैं गवर्नमेंट सर्विस हूँ और आई जी पुलिस ऑफिस में मैं एज असिस्टेंट वर्क कर रहा हूँ दिस मैन इज द असिस्टेंट सुप्रिंटेंडेंट ऑफ दंजाब पुलिस इन मेन हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ द पुलिस एंड हिज नेम इज बशीर मसीह ये एक अच्छा कदम है जो इन्होंने शुरू किया है तो जो पाकिस्तान में इन्होंने मेरे ख्याल में ये पहला एक स्कूल है जो इस वक्त इन्होंने शुरू किया है तो खुदा करे कि अगर ये अच्छा इस पे का रिजल्ट होगा तो मजीद जो है वो आगे दिस इज अ वेरी गुड स्टेप फॉर ऑफ द मैनुअल टीवी फॉर द पाकिस्तानी पीपल एंड वी प्रे एंड दिस इज आवर we do this more for the pakistan pakistani people and uh, uh, god give give uh, more strength god give more blessing to the manuel tv and the team of the manuel tv and uh, we are so happy for this work of the manuel tv because they did in pakistan and because of this many needy people get education through this good work praise allah my name is mohammad ashan niazi i'm belong to raymond and work as a and chairman lord with an international peace council and we work with needy people in field of uh, education health women rights and different aspect where people need the help i'm very appreciate for uh, for your for visit and uh, i will i hope that i will join as a don- donor for the school i'm um, pastor gulzar muslim from pakistan I'm uh, greatly th- uh, thankful to the uh, TV Joshua and the Manuel TV who has uh, uh, sent money and supported th- this project for the welfare and betterment of the children's youngs who couldn't whose parents couldn't sp- afford their schooling and I hope they will continue to support this project Here's a look at one of the opening teaching classes in Emmanuel School the room is filled with leaders of tomorrow dressed in the modern school uniform eager to learn the emmanuel school is for the community it is free and is open to the orphans and the needy of all faiths 80 children are currently enrolled in emmanuel school each of them with no previous opportunity to attend school emmanuel school is already in great demand not only because it is free but because it provides quality tuition not only for english but also for the local language ਸ਼ੁਕਰੀਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਕੂਲ ਦੇ ਸਕੂਲ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਸ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਾਂ ਜਿਸ ਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਨਾ ਯਸੂ ਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਐਸ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੱਚੇ ਖੁਦ ਪੜਾ ਸਕਨੇ ਸ਼ੁਕਰੀਆ ਸ਼ੁਕਰੀਆ ਮਨੂਵਲ ਟੀਵੀ ਸ਼ੁਕਰੀਆ ਟੀਵੀ ਜਸਵਾ ਮਾਈ ਨੇਮ ਇਜ਼ ਹਨੀਫਾ 
thank you very much for uh, the school and thank you Emmanuel TV, thank you Prophet TB Jeshua uh, who supported us here in our town that uh, may we, we can educate our children. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. मैं बहुत खुश हूं कि मैनुअल स्कूल की मदद की गई है मेरा नाम समीना है मैं बहुत खुश हूं कि इन्होंने हमारी मदद की जो लोग नहीं थे स्कूल में बच्चों को दाखिल करवा सकते उनकी मदद की है खुदा उनका शुक्र माय नेम इज समीना एंड आई लिव इन आसिफ टाउन एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी फॉर दिस इमानुअल स्कूल एंड मे गॉड ब्लेस देम एंड मे गॉड गिव देम अबंडेंटली and they will be able to open more school like this and thank God for this school that they open and they help us in, in this poor area so we can educate our children. May God bless them. Amen. Thank you for the school. The children in one of the poor areas in Lahore, Pakistan rejoice with their families thanking TV Joshua and the Emmanuel TV partners for Emmanuel School. They now have the wonderful opportunity to become empowered with education that will assist them in discovering what God has destined them to be. To God be the glory. Changing the world. Hey Ed, guess what? I've just been on Facebook. Oh, have you, Justin? Is it true that TB Joshua Ministries are back on Facebook? Yes. But I thought that... Yes. But didn't we say... Yes. But remember we... Yes, Justin. TB Joshua Ministries are back on Facebook. Full stop. End of story. Can you repeat that? Certainly, TB Joshua Ministries are back on Facebook. Wow, that's awesome. What? That's not all. We're also on Twitter. What? You're kidding me. Wonderful. And also on YouTube, too. Really? So you mean we're not only now on Facebook, but we're also on Twitter and YouTube? Talk about a comeback. Yeah, come on. Well, that's great. But don't the viewers need to know about this? Attention viewers! Please note that TB Joshua Ministries are now on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at Scorn TB Joshua. Follow us on Facebook at TB Joshua Ministries. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, Scoan TV. Now there are so many ways you can link up with what's happening at the Synagogue Church of All Nations in the Global Computer Village. So, get connected today and tell the world. Well, I'll leave a comment straight away. I'm already a fan. I just watched the latest video. I'm going to respond to everything they post right now. Guess what? You know what I just liked? TB Joshua, Joshua Ministries, Ministries on, on Facebook? Facebook? Oh yeah. That's what's up. What a comeback! God is still saying something. Confirmations of Prophecy coming up next on Emmanuel TV. This is Emmanuel TV.
this wisdom to others is the best and highest spiritual gift communicated to others knowledge means to explain the unfolding and the correlation of gospel facts prophecy is not necessarily predicting future events but preaching teaching the way with power tell your neighbor speak forward this power we are talking about such comes true or because of the baptism of the holy spirit and those who are baptized in the holy spirit will not stand anywhere and begin to condemn because there is authority in their mouth if you have authority that authority is to build most of our trouble are torn troubles each prophecy said these men are from God their message is true believe them prophet pastor are sent to utter the deep things of God for the conviction of sin for edification and comfort Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. When God's servants speak forth, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18.22 God still saying something. On the 10th of June 2012, during a Sunday live service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet T.B. Joshua gave a prophecy concerning the homeland security in the nation of America. He specified that he saw a man carrying a gun to shoot in a gathering of people, resulting in deaths, before he was arrested. These were his words. In the nation of America, they should pray. I'm seeing a man carry a gun in a gathering of people and begin to shoot people and a lot of people will be key before the man will be arrested. They should play in the United States. L'homme de Dieu dit qu'il voit un incident se passer aux États-Unis. Un homme prendre un fusil et commencer à tirer un peu partout et tuer beaucoup de personnes qu'on ne puisse l'arrêter. This is homeland security. I'm seeing coming out. Is he mental? Carry gun and begin before they can get him arrested. A lot of people will die. In confirmation of Prophet T.B. Joshua's words concerning homeland security in the United States, where he saw a man carrying a gun to shoot in a gathering of people, leading to many deaths. Breaking news hit worldwide media that a man armed with a gun went into a cinema in Colorado, United States, and began shooting in the gathering of people. Let's watch the breaking news. If you're just joining us, a recap now of breaking news we're following from the U.S. state of Colorado. Fourteen people have died, 50 are injured after shots were fired inside a movie theater in the city of Aurora. 
take a look at these live pictures. Police are saying to CNN and other reporters a short while ago that a gunman wearing body armor opened fire during a late night screening of the latest Batman film, The Dark Knight Rises. The suspect's been arrested and is in custody. You're looking at pictures now on the scene happening in Aurora. There are dozens of police, members of the emergency services surrounding the theater itself. There's 16 theaters. One specific theater was attacked. The number nine. Witnesses say there was confusion because many in the audience actually thought that the so sound of gunfire was coming from the movie showing next door. There's no word as yet on a possible motive, but this story again unfolding very quickly and we continue to get a lot of information. Just moments ago, we heard that the FBI is now going to be working with local authorities and is headed to Aurora from Denver. Chief, they're providing us with many new details in the aftermath of that deadly shooting in Aurora, Colorado, a suburb of Denver. The police chief, Dan Oates, there saying that 12 people were killed, 10 people died at the scene, two in the hospital. 59 injured. In total, 71 people were shot. He allegedly opened fire a little bit after midnight as people were gathered in a movie theater to watch the new Batman movie. Uh, he came in and he started lighting um, a gas can and he threw it into the crowd. At that point, he shot his first fire into the ceiling to scare everybody and they just started scattering and mass chaos just happened. At that point, he went from here to here and he just pointed the gun at me. I, I was terrified. I just dove into the, the aisle and then at that point he started shooting people behind me and I had bullets that were, you know, on my forehead, burning my forehead and I just told myself I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. So as soon as we get more details on this horrific shooting in the United States that is really making headlines in America and brought even the political campaign for the presidential election. In the initial America, they should pray. I'm seeing a man carry gun in a gathering of people and begin to shoot people and a lot of people will be the key before the man will be arrested they should play in the united states l'un des dit qu'il voit un incident se passer aux états unis un homme prendre un fusil et commence à tirer un peu partout et tuer beaucoup de personnes avant qu'on ne puisse l'arrêter this is homeland security i'm seeing coming out who is a mentor carry gun and begin to go, 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 go. before they can get him arrested a lot of people will die we at Emmanuel TV and the Synagogue Church of All Nations pray that God would comfort and strengthen the families of the victims in this tragic incident and continue to shelter the nation of America under the shadow of his protection. In Jesus' name. Prophecy does not refer to the prophecy of things on head and unknown but of both announced and known <laughs> prophecy implies a special insight into revealed truth and a great faculty of making them and their consequences known to others. That is prophecy. <laughs> Prophets were motivated to utter the deep things of God for the condition of sin. For edification and comfort.